Hi there, this is Devraj from Techie Dev and today I am going to show you the new Tata Harrier. So in this video I would like to cover all the aspects of this vehicle and uh, just have a look at it. And As you look at the vehicle, you won't believe it's a Tata car except the badging. In this video, I will cover the comfort, convenience, safety and features of this vehicle and also the pricing. The vehicle is actually based upon Omega Art platform that is optimal modular efficient global advanced architecture derived from Land Rover DX platform. Before I start this video, I would like to thank DC Motors and Mr. Satyendra Kumar for giving the vehicle and you can see the contact details of the person in your screen. So if you are looking to buy, then you can contact them. So now let's start this video. Look at those beautiful LED DRLs with turn indicators with signature Tata Impact 2.0 design grille with headlights at the lower side of the bumper. The headlight setup is Xenon HID projector with regular halogen high beam light. And this design looks stunning in real day life. As you look at the side of the vehicle, you will notice a large muscular wheel arch with black cladding that gives a proper SUV stance. Though 17 inch alloys look small in this vehicle. The tire size is 23565 which gives phenomenal grip. Black piano finish in the pillars with chrome linings runs from A pillar to C pillar gives sloping coupe like roof finish which kinds of cool and also the door handles get chrome finish. The rear wheel arch also gets bold muscular stance but rear wheel gets only drum brakes which kind of a dis disappointment. Looking at the rear end of the vehicle it's a stunner from Tata Motors. Those LED tail lights with piano black finish Harrier badging, roof rails, everything at the right position and great fit and finish. A silver finish on the rear bumper as well. Extra wheel is present beneath the boot. It has got 425 liters of boot space and an 810 liters on folding of seat. And it has also got a 60-40 split. The floating roof gives coupe like stance as I mentioned earlier with chrome garnish give absolutely luxurious and European design. The outer rear view mirrors get LED turn indicators and piano black finish which looks great. Now moving to the interiors, it gets push start sub button, AC vents get silver finish, the instrument cluster gets 7 inch TFT display and an analog speedometer. And also, as you can see, I'm toggling through the instrument cluster. It provides various driver information like fuel economy, trip meter, distance to empty, etc. And also, it shows a navigation on the top of the screen. So that's it from the instrument cluster. And it also shows uh, modes that I will show you in the latter part of the video. On the left of the steering wheel, it gets infotainment controls, hand-free controls, etc. And the buttons feel premium to use. And on the right side, you get the cruise control and instrument cluster toggle controls in your steering wheel, as you can see here. Now, coming to the center console, it gets single zone auto climate control, AC. And the buttons for toggling between front and rear fog lamps, sport the hazard light, and sport mode. Eco drive ports uh, and above it, it gets the floating 8.8 .8 star screen infotainment system and it looks dull in daylight and but it has got a good touch response. The material used in the dashboard is very premium, soft touch finish with oak wood ascent in the middle feels very premium. The perforated leather seats are very comfortable and have good all over support. Three drive modes are given that is weight, rough and city mode, calibrated with the SP, hill descent control and etc. On selecting mode, the rough theme in the activated. instrument cluster gets changed which looks nice and it has also Let's got the activated. electronic stability program, uh, traction control program activated. you can enable as well as disable it. There is no auto dimming rear view mirror so you can manually dim it and it also gets cabin lights which is white in color and a sunglass holder as you can see here and yeah that's the sunglass holder and on the driver side sunsets there is no t 
50 key holder or vanity mirror but the size is very nice so it uh, covers very well now the passenger side it, sun sets gets a vanity mirror with auto light and there is a cockpit style handbrake cooled storage beneath the front center armrest ample storage in door pockets as it can hold one liter bottles very easily and also gets leather inserts in the door panels the usb and aux port is uh, awkwardly positioned and is very difficult to access it the infotainment system gets android auto but no apple carplay but it will get apple carplay in later uh, time via ota update the system is very responsive but the brightness could have been better as you can see it in sunlight it is not very bright though it gets park acid system as you can see with uh, dynamic guidelines and it also gets 9 JBL speaker system with subwoofer and amplifier ac acoustic tuned by JBL and uh, sound quality is phenomenal so just in later part of this video and this part of the video sorry you check the sound quality <laughs> as well as width adjustable now going to the back rear seat i have adjusted my driver seat position according to my height which is 5.8 feet and you can see there is ample amount of leg room and head room and the bench is wide enough to carry three people comfortably and but there is no center head headrest but you get the center armrest and position beautifully now let's drive this vehicle. It is powered by a Fiat Source 2.0 liter 140 PS power cryotic diesel engine which is mated with 6 speed manual gearbox and it has got 350 Nm of max torque that gives this vehicle a good performance. In sport mode the surge of the power will put smile on your face and in my opinion the turbo lag is well contained though after 1000 rpm the power starts to deliver before that it nimbles the ride quality is phenomenal this is a car for long drive and yeah i mentioned a long drive you won't feel any tiredness uh, driving this car a long way though if you uh, just go for a very short drive you will find that no i need to drive this car for a bit more and the steering input is very accurate it like it is light in uh, low speed and beautifully weighs up while you are doing uh, a good speed and even after uh, above 120 km per hour the there is no vibration the front suspension is very uh, well tuned and is from land rover but the rear uh, one are by lotus and are tuned beautifully and the engineers of tata have nailed it though it gets only front disc brakes and the rear drum brakes but i have no complaining in braking as it stops properly and keeps confidence very well the body roll in this vehicle is well contained and the gear seats have been improved from previous tata cars and uh, the way it drives, the way it absorbs every bump, and you won't need to slow down your vehicle every time you see a bump. So that's a very positive and very good point of Tata uh, Harrier. So a big thumbs up for this vehicle. So should you buy it? In my opinion, yes, because it gets features from segment above from it and priced between 12 to 16 lakhs which gives you a good value for money so if you are looking to buy it or buy a car between 16 lakhs then go for it it has got a long features list like auto headlamps auto wiper 6 airbags electronic stability program hilon and the list goes on and on here i mentioned some of the features in this video 
So if you like my video, then like, share and subscribe to my channel and comment, comment below if I need to add some more or you want to know something about this vehicle. I will definitely reply you back. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.